Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you. One step solution for all your placement needs. Friends, this is the fourth class on Python. I will request you to please go through the basic classes, basic three classes and then you watch this video where I am going to discuss identifier, data types, variables. So let us start with the session friends. So friends, what are the identifiers in Python? So friends, any name in Python program is called as identifier. So friends, any name in Python program is called as identifier. So friends, any variable name, class name, function name, etc will be called as identifier in the Python program. So friends, you can see example x is equal to 15. So x is a variable and you are going to assign the value of 15. Friends, basically in Python program, we do not use semicolon. But if you use it also while assigning the value to the x variable, then also it will not have any impact. So x is equal to 15 and x is equal to 15 semicolon, both is correct. Both syntax wise also it is correct. So we are going to assign 15 to the variable x. So friends, any name in the Python program is called as identifier. So here friends, x is nothing but a identifier x is nothing but a identifier okay now friends so deaf a student now here what is the function see function name is also a identifier so friends here you are defining a function which is nothing but a student so friends here a student is nothing but a identifier here a student is nothing but a identifier so friends so friends you please keep all those things in the mind because all these points are very very important when you are going for any interviews okay so friends your function name variable name class name any name in python is called as a identifier now friends there are certain rules to define a identifier okay so there are some certain rules to define the identifier because friends you cannot consider any symbol while defining the identifier so let us understand what are the rules so friends you can consider any alphabet any alphabet symbols so a small letter a to z and friends uppercase also a to z so lowercase and uppercase anything you can consider when you are choosing a identifier friends digits so digits you can use 0 to 9 so you can use any digits from 0 to 9 in your identifier and friends underscore so you can start your you can start your identifier from underscore so underscore a b c and then you can assign some value so this is also correct now friends so let us understand some example using the pie charm so friends here i am assigning online study for you online study for you and i am assigning a value 10 okay now so friends this if you'll see and if i'll print here print online study online study for you okay now if i will run it here friends then you can see the output so the output will be nothing but 10 right okay so friends we can consider we can consider the identifier as online study for you so because we can use any alphabets in the lower case or the upper case digits from 0 to 9 and underscore right okay now friends so we cannot consider any we cannot consider any symbol while writing or while choosing an identifier so here i am taking at okay now now friends let us see so it should throw a syntax error so friends your identifier syntax error cannot assign to a operator so your your friends identifier cannot contain any symbols right okay now if you we'll remove this again it will give you the output as 10 okay so first thing friends alphabet symbols so alphabet symbols you would have understood so how do we define here one example is also given now friends moving towards the next slide so friends identifier should not start with digits so friends as i said you will be able to use digits from 0 to 9 but friends your identifier cannot start with digits your identifier cannot start with digits you can see you are getting an error here right so when you are starting with the digits you are getting an error right syntax error invalid syntax but friends the digits you can use later on i mean alpha first alphabets few alphabets are there and then you can have the digits here okay now friends let us understand this example in the pie charm so online study for you so what i will do 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now I am assigning 10. Now, friends, if I will execute this syntax error, invalid syntax. So, friends, we cannot use, you cannot start our identifier with the digits. Okay. Now, now, friends, what I will do, I will add the digits here. So, now, friends, if I will run it, now if I will run it, I should be able to get the output here also I'll print 1 2 3 4 5 now friends if I will execute this I should be able to get the output as 10 so friends your digit can be clubbed later in identifier but your identifier should not start with the digit so this is the second rule of identifier now friends identifier are case sensitive so friends even your python programming language is case sensitive same thing friends your identifiers are also case sensitive now friends we will see how it is so online study for you is a variable okay which i am assigning 10 okay now i'll be printing print online study for you okay okay now friends now what i will do i will take in uppercase this is friends all your lowercase this is all your lowercase now i am going to consider the uppercase so online study for you now i am assigning 10 okay now or this i will assign 20 so that the values will be different okay now print online study right for you and friends i will consider one more uh, the mixture of uppercase and lowercase online study for you is equals to 30 so friends in all three cases our outputs will be different you know the reason the reason is the reason is friends this is identifiers are case sensitive so that is the reason when we will be executing this we will be getting different different outputs right so you can see okay so somewhere we have this is not defined so online study for you online study okay so here some mistake is there so online study for you okay now it is correct right okay now let us run so you can see our outputs are 10 20 and 30 so friends it is case sensitive please do keep in mind now friends so the third rule is also clear identifiers are case sensitive now friends so what are the reserve words in python okay so friends identifier might be clear for you now we will see what are the reserve words in python so friends reserve word and keyword okay reserved word and keyword so friends keyword will be nothing but reserve word with some functionality will be nothing but your keyword friends this you will understand do not worry so friends right now we are able to take a variable okay x we are defining it we are assigning it as 10 okay now friends even you can take a b c and you can assign a value 10 friends you can take if and you can assign a value is equal to 10 but friends there are 33 reserved word which we cannot take it as a variable or you can say as a identifier so when this is also a part of identifier where we will understand so there are 33 reserve words are there so these are the 33 reserve words which we cannot use as a variable or which we cannot use as a identifier so friends same thing has been mentioned here so reserve word and keyword so friends what is the keyword so reserved word with some functionality will be nothing but your keyword example so friends if elif else for okay so friends these are the these are the reserved keyword when we will use it with some functionality so if we have if so friends if condition will be there if x is equal to 10 okay if 10 if 20 okay so when these are the conditional statements right so if if has been used with the conditional statement so friends this will be called as keyword okay so friends reserve word and keyword so reserve word the words which we cannot used as identifier and where we cannot assign a value to the variable okay now next one reserved words associated with literals so friends there are some reserved words which are associated with literals like bool so friends like boolean values true false and none are some literals where reserve words are associated so friends this also we cannot use as a identifier or as a variable so friends total we have 33 reserve words which cannot be used 
as your variable or identifier friends this we will be discussing one by one so friends right now we are just going through the very much basics once we will be clear with our basics what are the data types what are the identifier what are the basics of python how python is simple what are the strings then friends we will directly start using each one of them and then we will be able to understand everything so when true false none and or not is if elif while for break so do while loop and all those things will not be existing for python continue return in l try accept finally raise assert import so friends when we importing like when you import maths when you import random so friends the all this are your reserve words right from as class def pass global non local lambda del width okay so friend there are total 33 reserve keywords other and friends all are case sensitive all are case sensitive i will show you friends how okay so let us take the help of pycharm now friends you see i am going to assign a value to the reserve keyword if so if is equals to 10 now friends if i will try to execute this i can see i'll be getting a syntax error because this is nothing but a reserved keyword okay now now friends what i will do so instead of lower case i will give if is equals to 10 in that case friends it should not throw any error it should not throw any error because python is case sensitive and friends here you can see this if is not a reserved keyword so what is our reserve keyword so our reserved our reserve keyword is our reserve keyword is okay our reserve keyword is smaller i mean the lower case if not the upper case right friends so you can see when you will try to so i what i will do friends def okay so def is also def is also friends a keyword so now reserve keyword so now if i will try to assign 10 again i will be getting the syntax error okay again i will be getting the syntax error okay now but if i will assign def is equals to 10 i will not get any syntax error because this is in upper case only the lower case of def is our reserved keyword okay friends so i hope this will be clear to you now so friends there are total 33 reserved words which contains only alphabets true false and none has upper case as first letter so friends you can see so here true okay true false and none is nothing but upper case in all the the first letter will be upper case in all the reserved word okay friends now all the reserved words reserved keywords is below so friends even we can uh, programmatically also we can prove it so import keyword keyword dot kw list now friends so we will take the help of pycharm and we will try to print all the keywords so import keyword and then print keyword dot kw list it will print all the reserved keyword now friends you can see false none true so all three first letter is nothing but upper case then and as assert async await break class continue def del elif else except finally for from global if import in is lambda non local not or pass raise return try while with else okay so if you count everything friends it should be nothing but 33 okay it should be nothing but 33 now friends so you may find there is a difference also if we'll be using the python version it it depends upon that as well so friends these are our reserved keywords and friends definitely we will discuss each and everything while going forward okay now now friends let us understand what are the data types available in python and how do we use it in our programs so friends as i as we already discussed a is equals to 50 so you can assign 50 like this or you can assign 50 with the semicolon so both will both will give you the same output if so friends that we can confirm it from the pi charm so a is equals to 50 and then print a print a so you can see what is output the output is nothing but 50 right okay now here i am putting a semicolon and then we will see what is output then also your output is same so friends while assigning a value to a variable you can use semicolon or without that also you can use it now friends we have few inbuilt data types that is nothing but int float 
complex complex is for mathematics float is for uh, decimal values int is for integers then bool bool means true false none str string byte byte array range list type set frozen set dict and none friends all of this data types also we will be discussing when we will start writing the program friends first when your basic is clear that means you will be easily able to clear the interview part and then one by one we will see everything in detail now friends python is having the inbuilt functions as well friends this inbuilt function with the help of this inbuilt function we will come to know the type of the type of your variables okay now friends as we know in python we do not have to assign we do not have to uh, give the type like how we uh, do in the other programming language int x is equals to 50 right but friends in python we do not have to specifically mention the type of the variables okay if you are assigning 50 to x that means it is very much clear x is nothing but a integer and friends we can come to know by using the function type so let us see friends so a is equals to what 50 now friends so if i want to know the type of a then i will write print type of a so it should be integer it should be class class is what friends it should be integer now if i am assigning 50.56 then we will come to know the type of we will come to know the type here is nothing but float if i am assigning a boolean value a is equals to true then i will come to know the type as bool so friends here in python we do not have to uh, mention the types specifically it is dynamically typed programming language right okay i hope the type function will be clear now friends second inbuilt function is nothing but id now what is id so friends id will be telling you the address of the object in the memory okay the address of the object in the memory and friends one more thing in python everything is a object in python everything is a object okay and friends using the id function we will be able to know the real address in the memory so friends a is equals to what i will do i will assign a is equals to 10 now id of a so friends print okay id of id of a so we will be getting the address of a so we can see the address is nothing but 1407 182 okay so address of a in the memory will be this so friends id will be giving you so you can see friends so this value will be keep changing it depends upon because friends everything is a object in python so your memory will not be fixed so memory will be you know keep differing so friends here you can see the address of a is nothing but is nothing but we found out here one for something right okay so id will be giving you the address now friends print function so print function friends already you know we have also used the print function here right okay so print id of a so print function means we can we will be easily able to print the value so a is equals to 100 now i can print the value of a now i can print the value of a so a will be nothing but 100 right okay so print function is also clear to you now friends moving towards the next slide so inbuilt functions in the python so friends no long type in python so friends as unlike other languages here we do not have any long type so friends if if you are assigning the value of a so a very bigger value also that will be considered as that will be considered as so i will what i will do friends i will uh, we will get to know the type of a so the type of a will be still integer not long okay so unlike other programming language we do not have long here we have only integer right okay friends as we discussed in python everything is a object in python everything is a object what is that meaning so friends like other languages we do not have the size definition here for data types like friends in like friends in uh, java we have integer which will be taking four bytes right 
but friends here in python we do not have this kind of size allocation okay so friends so it will dynamically it will dynamically take the size so because in python everything is an object so we do not have anything like assigning four bytes right for integers and for float and for other things friends a is equals to 10 we can represent in four ways okay so friend this you be very clear so in python we do not have integer is not four bytes it depends upon the it depends upon the uh, you know what value you are assigning it will take that much size so we do not have any size definition here now friends a is equals to 10 we can represent in four ways so friends we have decimal we have binary we have octal and we have hexadecimal so friends let us start with the decimal form so friends in decimal form our base will be nothing but 10 and allowed digit will be 0 to 9 so in decimal our base will be 10 and allowed digit will be 0 to 9 so friends x is equal to 20 yes this is a decimal value 200 a decimal value 5000 is nothing but a decimal value right okay so friends so if you are assigning x is equals to the okay so x is equals to 1 2 3 4 okay so when i will print when i will print so print x so this is nothing but friends your decimal values right so decimal values will be 0 to 9 so we can take any values so decimal is nothing but base will be 10 so this will be clear because whatever till now we have assigned the values all are nothing but the decimal values this is what a decimal values right friends okay next is friends binary form so friends in your binary form the base will be 2 and the allowed digits the allowed digits will be nothing but 0 and 1 so friends binary binary means what 0 and 1 that already you know but friends how to represent so friends 1101 1, friends this is a binary value right so because binary value the allowed values are only 0 and 1 so this is a, this is in the binary form so for what decimal value this is of in, you know this is in the binary form so friends you know so binary the base is nothing but 2 so this will be nothing but 2 to the power 0 here 2 to the power 1 here 2 to the power 2 and here 2 to the power 3 so 1 into 2 to the power 0 plus 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2 plus 1 into 2 to the power 3 so this will be 1 plus 0 plus 4 plus 8 8 plus 5 is 13 so this is the binary value of 13 this is the binary value for 13 right this is the binary value for 13 now friends so let us try to let us try to print so and friends one more thing so here you can use a is equals to 0 so this is nothing but a is equals to 0 b 1101 1, 1, or you can also use 0 small b that is lower case 1101 1, 1. both are true now so friends let us try to understand using the pi charm so a is equals to 0 b 1101 1, 1. okay now print now print a so friends you can see what is the value of a so the value of a is 13 so friends this binary value is for the value nothing but 13 okay so friends you can see here the output has been also given okay so is nothing but 13 which we have got it so here you can see the output was already given now friends so if you will use if you will use the upper case of b then also you should be able to get the same value so you can see 13 now friends what i am going to do here so i am using here 2 3 4 1 so friends can you tell me what will what will happen here can you tell me what will happen here so friends here we are going to get a error why because your binary will be either 0 or 1 0 and 1 has to be used in binary form now syntax error invalid token friends we have used 2 3 4 that should not be used instead of that you use 0 you will be able to get a value so you can see this is the binary form of 1 so friends i hope the binary form is clear now friends we'll be moving towards octal form so friends octal form means the allowed digits the allowed digits will be 0 to 7 okay and friends here you can see 0 o 
and 0 O. That O can be your upper case or that O can be your lower case. This also friends, we will try to understand using pie charm. So what I will do, uh, A is equals to 0 O, okay, 0 to 7, right, 0 to 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Now print, now print A. Friends, if we we'll print, then we will be getting, then we will be getting the value is equals to 668. So this octal value, this octal value correspond to 668 decimal value, right? Okay. So friends, here we have taken 0, 2, 2, 1. So 0, 0, 2, 2, 1. And now we will see what will be the value. It should be 145. Yes, correct. So friends, how can we say this is the octal value of 145 that also we will understand okay do not worry friends for everything logic is there so for octal value friends it will start with 16 to the power uh, sorry 8 to the power 0 and then 8 to the power 1 and then 8 to the power 2 right so 2 2 1 okay now friends so we can see 1 into 8 to the power 0 plus 2 into 8 to the power 1 plus 2 into 8 to the power 2. So 1 into 8 to the power 1 will be 1 plus 8 into 2 will be 16 plus 64 into 2 will be 128 and if you add everything 128 plus 17 will be 145. So here we can see friends 145 was the value. So this is in the octal form. Now friends if I use 8 9 9 here can you tell me what will happen? Can you tell me friends what will happen? So friends, we are going to get a error. We are going to get a error because the allowed values in the octal form is only from 0 to 7. Friends, I hope each and every concept is getting clear to you. Now friends, moving towards the next hexadecimal. So friends, hexadecimal, your base will be 16. Allowed value will be 0 to 9. And friends, alphabets A to F where lower and uppercase both are allowed. And the format will be 0, 0 lowercase x or 0 uppercase x. Okay. Now, friends, let us try to understand this through one example in pie charm. Okay. Now, so friends, a is equal to 0 x. Okay. So a is equal to 0 x. And here I will take 1, 2, 3. Now, let us print. So friends, it will give you the value of the value for which we have written the hexadecimal here 291 so friends we can see 291 okay 291 right okay and here it is what uh, we have taken 123 right 0x 123 so friends if it is hexadecimal then 16 to the power 0 16 to the power 1 and 16 to the power 2 16 to the power 0 will be so 3 into 1 will be 3 plus 2 into 16 to the power 1 16 1 into 16 square 256 so friends 3 plus 32 plus 256 so 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 3 11 it will be nothing but 291 yes correct so for 291 the hexadecimal value will be 0 x 1 2 3 okay now friends even you can take a b c a b c so hexadecimal value allowed value will be 0 to 9 digits and alphabets a to f okay now so a b c again i should not get any error right 2748 friends even you can consider the cap the upper uh, letter a b c then you can see uppercase 2748 now if i am taking g h i friends can you tell me what we will get we will get error why because the alphabets from a to f is only allowed okay now friends so i hope the alphabets right in hexadecimal binary octal and decimal forms are clear to you so these are the four ways in which 10 can be i mean the values can be represented okay so we have represented different different values in binary form decimal form octal form and hexadecimal form now friends we have the base conversion so what is the base conversion that also we will try to understand and that will be the end of your today's class so friends base conversion so we have the inbuilt function here bin oct and hex now friends so if you have 14 so if you have a is equals to 14 so 14 is a decimal value here and now if you want if you want the binary form of 14 
so what I will do a is equals to 40 okay now bin is the function okay so bin a now I want to print so print okay now so here we will print so we will print the binary we will print the binary value of 14 you can see we are getting triple one zero okay now friends a is equals to 14 I want to print the octal value of 14 okay now so friends oct a now we can see so in binary we have 0 b triple one zero in oct we have 0 o 16 and now if I want to print in hexadecimal format then the inbuilt function is hex hex a so if you will run this then in hexadecimal we have 0 x e right friends so this is the way how we use the inbuilt function and we convert decimal into binary octal hexadecimal so friends i hope that today's session were useful you are able to learn the identifier and the data types and the reserved keywords so friends so tomorrow i'll be discussing about strings and friends once we are clear with the very basic things then we will directly start writing the program so friends these all classes are very very important so friends if you have still not subscribe to our channel do subscribe and get the daily updates and the faster updates from our channel thank you this is pratik sirvastava here